Today I'll be teaching you how to create a simple transfer method on Hamilton Microlab Star Series liquid handlers. I'm Dave with DCM Bioservices. And as always, if you don't feel comfortable performing these steps on your own instrument, reach out to us today at service at dcmbio.com. If this is the first time using the Hamilton Method Editor, well, you'll need to set up a deck. Go to File, New, System Deck to set up your, your System Deck layout. For today, we're going to use an existing System Deck layout called Starlet. Here we've already set up our deck positions and we're ready to create our method. First, you'll need to load your deck with the labware needed. If you select Labware, we're going to add tips. For today, we're using the 1,000 microliter high volume tips without filter. In order to put them on the deck, you'll click here and drag it to the position where the existing tips are. Next, we're going to add our plates and reservoirs to the deck. Go to plates, 96 position plates, and select the plate you want to use. For today, we're going to use the 96 PCR rack. Drag it to the position that it's in. Now we're going to add our reagent plates to the deck. Hamilton Deepwell 96. We're going to add our reagent plate to the deck. Now that we have our labware set up on the deck, we're going to go create the method. So we've got a file, new, method. Give it a name. And save it. The method editor should open. And now you can begin creating your method. First, we're going to add our initialize step to the method. If you want to initialize it every time at the beginning of the method, select on for this one. But most of the time, you just use off. Next, we want to add a aspirate step for the channels. From this screen, we'll select all of our labware to be used. So aspirate from sequence, where you want to aspirate from, which is the deep well plate. The volume, give it a volume. Select the tip type from the list. Select the liquid you're using. We're using water today. It auto populates the liquid class, but you can select a different liquid class if there's available. Where do you want to pick up the tips from? If there's multiple sets of tips, there'll be a list in the drop down menu. But for this, we're using the high volume tips. If you're doing multiple dispenses, you wanted to use the tip counter so it knows where, which tip to go to next. Now you want to select the aspirate position. This is how far it's going to go into the plate. Now that we set up our aspirate, we're going to set up our dispense. So click and drag it to the position here. Where do you want to dispense to? Into the PCR plate. If you have a different volume, you can put it in this here, or you can just dispense all the liquid that's in the tips. You can change the height at which you want to dispense. We're going to do it about two, two millimeters from the bottom. And select where you want your tips to go. You can either have it stay on the channels, Inject into the waste, inject back into the tip pickup position, which we're going to do today. Once the method is created, go up here to the stoplight, the run control stoplight, select that. It'll ask if you want to save, say yes. And now you have the run control window, and this is where you start the method. Once everything is green, go ahead and select start and your method will run.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Check out our other lab automation how-to videos and visit our website at dcmbio.com for more service options. If you need help, please email us at service at dcmbio.com. Check the video description for all the links.